Strawberries, I've missed you. Hi. I'm here with a Yes Style haul because I know you guys love a good Yes Style try on haul. I also am doing a review on a bunch of vegan and cruelty free skincare. Uh, yes Style have gifted me all these products, but they are also sponsoring today's video. So thank you so much, Yes Style. And the reason that they're sponsoring today's video is because they are celebrating World Vegan Month and they have recently created a vegan filter on the Yes Style website. So I'll have a link for that down below. Um, it's so that you guys can have a worry free shopping experience looking for something that is vegan and cruelty free which is lovely i have also been given a 15 percent discount code if you are to find some products that you like in the vegan filter and you spend 49 us dollars or more then you get 15 percent off with this code um, and the code will last the next seven days after i've posted this video so enjoy let me know if you find anything you like i try a bunch of products in the first part of this video and then afterwards I have a couple of homewares and some cute clothes that I picked up from YesStyle too because I know you guys like watching me try on YesStyle. Also just chiming in, YesStyle want to run a giveaway down in the comments below. They want to do three $50 US coupons. Um, there will be a link down in the description to check that if your country if, if the country you live in can participate, they ship pretty much worldwide anyway. So to enter the giveaway, I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me and YesStyle on Instagram, and then comment down below this video with what product you would like to try from this haul and your Instagram handle so I can find you and message you and let you know that you won. And now on with the rest of the video. <laughs> so we're gonna start this haul off. Yes, bud? Is there something you would like? Is there something you would like? So, we're gonna start off this haul with the uh, vegan and cruelty free skincare first. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I have been trying over the last three weeks. So far, nothing has given me any breakouts. Um, my skin usually acts up when I try new products, but all of these have actually behaved themselves. I have one pimple on my uh, like hormone like strip here because my body is trying so hard to have its period and it is just not happening. <laughs> anyway, the first thing we have is this green cleansing oil. This packaging is really cool. I guess you can't really see how green it is. I love green. My bathroom is like black, white, green and purple themed. So I was like, oh, this would look really cool in my bathroom. 2264 US. It is for removing your sunscreen, for your makeup. Um, it feels really nice on your skin. Um, I've used cleansing oils before and I find that it takes me a while to wash them off. Like I'll kind of have this oily residue on me for a while and then not very like effective when this um, actually works quite nicely. But it is an olive oil based oil. It says it has olive oil, fruit oil, sunflower seed oil, vegetable oil, grape seed oil, almond oil. Wow. Um, and it, yeah, it feels really lovely. There's no like smell to it. Love this. Um, and I like that it comes with this little, it comes with this clippy thingy. So it, like, I guess when you're traveling, it will not like pump and get oily, oily stuff all through your luggage, which is quite cool. Oh, uh, the next thing I used in this thing was this blueberry hydrating cleansing gel foam. Again, pretty much picked it because it's purple. <laughs> Uh, it's a color that I like. Okay, leave me alone. Um, this is quite affordable. This is $11.27 US and you are getting 145 grams, but I feel like this is, this is quite a lot and you don't need very much product and you get a really amazing foam out of this. I don't usually use a foaming cleanser because I have dry skin, um, but um, this smells, uh, the smell is very berry. It's very, 
uh, like synthetic berry f smell, but it um, but it's fun either way. Gives stress relief. Interesting. Feels quite gentle as well. Like there's no granules in it or anything like that. So if you just want like a a nice a strong smelling face cleanser this is for you then we have two serums hyaluronic hyaluronic acid and vitamin c um serums um because i am 30 and um support tiktok is telling me that i need to start using these kinds of products so the first one is this vitamin C serum, um, very cute, very cute, comes with a nice pump. It is $16.44 and you get 60 mils. This had um, a lot of good reviews on it as well, um, so far I quite like it. It does leave my skin feeling a little bit sticky but um, nothing too intense unlike other ones that I've used and they've left me feeling very like very like tacky um, and then this one I could not get over the packaging the packaging is so fancy but it took me a minute as you can see in the video but you twist and then unscrew and it's like the fancy little like you know you feel like you're doing some science or something you know it's very fancy um, it is $13.15 US and you get 20 mil. This felt very moisturizing. Um, the other one felt like it was like I was putting like a serum on but this felt very moisturizing and it's just a hyaluronic. So I think that's maybe the vitamin C leaves you feeling a bit sticky. I'm not sure. I am not a skincare expert. I am just here to tell you how things feel. <laughs> okay. This smelt very fancy. It smells like um, your like rich auntie's skincare, <laughs> if that's what you want. The other thing that I got in this haul that smells amazing is this Claire's Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. This feels so nice and it smells like your rich auntie's <laughs> Skincare routine. It, um, it feels nice and watery. Um, I end up using it just all over my face. Like I'll go to put it on where you're meant to and then it just travels like all over my face accidentally, you know? It goes quite far. Like this will last quite a while. So you get 20 grams and it's 24.30 US. So it is quite expensive. Then all the rest of the items I'm gonna show you are like day creams and sunscreens and like moisturizers. So this sunscreen, this is the Centella Green Level Unscented Sun SPF 50 Plus. You can tell I have been using this. It's got a bit uh, like busted up. Um, this, I love this sunscreen. It almost comes out like a light green color. Um, and as a pasty pink person, this kind of neutralizes nicely. And I know for a fact it works because I was sat outside in the sun for two hours. Um, we had a nice sunny day yesterday and my knees got quite sunburnt, but my face and my hands did not. Uh, but my knees are very pink and unhappy with me. So um, I know for a fact that this works. One thing I'm trying to do as a 30 year old is um, wear sunscreen every day now because last summer I feel like my skin just uh, started disintegrating and aging aggressively um, and I hardly wore sunscreen uh, that whole time because I've been so more paranoid about my skin breaking out from wearing sunscreen than just wearing the darn sunscreen. And I've had no issues. I've worn this every day for about two weeks now and um, it feels awesome. So highly recommend this um, sunscreen. It is $13.60, 60 mils. So not too badly priced, especially if you just want um, a nice like skin sunscreen. Then I try on this um, day cream. Um, love this packaging, very fancy feeling. Sioris Stay With Me Day Cream. It's just a daily moisturizer and it actually feels 
quite nice for sensitive skin. A lot of these products I picked out because they're good for sensitive skin as well. This one is one of the more expensive products. It feels, the packaging makes it feel very expensive too. Um, it is $31.95 US and you're getting 50 mil. Um, does feel very nice. Um, product does go quite far. I will definitely update you guys in a future vlog with how, how all these products are going. And I'll have links to everything in the description as well, obviously. And then one of my favorite products is this Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream, 60 mil, and it's 25.33. Yeah, so Claire's is kind of on the more expensive end. Um, but this moisturizer, um, I've I think I've gone through two two of these already. So this is my third one, and I love using this on my tattoos. I don't know what it is. Other moisturizers just don't like make my tattoos look juicy this especially on my leg tattoos um where my legs can get a bit crusty dusty like this moisturizer makes my tattoos like look darker and juicy and like like it bright brings all the colors out and that looks really nice so i'm a big fan of this even as like a, just like a body moisturizer and it does go quite far and it is quite long lasting like you feel like moisturized for most of the day as opposed to other moisturizers i'll use it and then after like 10 minutes i'll be like crusty dusty again because my skin just like <laughs> when this will kind of like sit on the skin and feel nice and like moist Moist. The next sunscreen I tried was this Dalabin Innocent sunscreen. Um, it says that it corrects your skin tone and it feels weightless. I disagree. I don't think it feels weightless at all. Um, it is probably the only sunscreen here um, that I don't like. If you like a very tacky, um, like you, like if you want it, if you want a sunscreen that just kind of like you place and wipe and you get like one or two wipes out of it and it just kind of sits in a certain area, this is for you. Um, when I prefer a very lightweight, uh, watery sunscreen that I can just like spread and lather on me. Um, but if you want like a sunscreen that will just be for like an area you know then this is for you um it's almost like golden and it does leave like a nice glow like i put it in my like little this little strip here but personally i do not like the way that this sunscreen feels at all $13.34 for 40 mil i think my skin would suffocate with this the last um, skin product I'm going to show you um, is the Comfy Water Sunblock. Again, this brand is awesome, so I really like the green, the green one of this. Feels very, like, very smooth, very moisturizing, not sticky at all, nice and watery, applies really nicely. Okay, so um, it's, it's $2 more expensive than the green one. This... So this one has a thousand reviews when the green one has two and a half thousand reviews. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So the green one is definitely more popular. So maybe the green one's $2 cheaper as well. So that's quite nice. So, um, but yeah, this Purito brand make good sunscreen. So if you want a nice sensitive skin sunscreen, that's vegan and cruelty free. That's what you want. So then now we'll go on to, I have bought a couple of like homeware things. And, and I got some clothes because I know you guys love a good try on haul. So I'm going to get into that now. I like to call this my uh, new like Disney princess dress. Um, it is so cute. Um, uh, it's called the Sonora Plain Puff Sleeve Mini A-Line Dress. I got it in a size medium in the sky blue color. It's like a light green to blue as well. It's not like a blue blue. I really like this dress. You can tell I'm wearing my uh, booby bra. 
because <laughs> I actually have boobs. Um, uh, I wish I got a size small. Um, I just didn't know how this would fit. I didn't know if it would be stretchy or if it would be structured, um, but um, it's so cute. It isn't stretchy. So I am glad that I got you know the medium to try but it has no stretch but the material is very nice it's got um a it's got like an underskirt in here as well the tag says when you wear this i'll always be with you a warm hug made out of cloth <laughs> that is so cute yeah this brand is cute I don't know maybe I'll wear it with like a belt or something but then again it's quite comfy because it there's some room to move in it but it is really cute and um if I go on any like cutie pie dates that would be a very cutie pie date dress to just like you know have in my wardrobe I'm gonna look like a magical Disney princess <laughs> and I got matching i didn't mean to get super matching but the color is exactly the same i got some bedding from your style now i have bought um i think i've bought three different bed sheets from your style now um this is this one's by far my favorite um yeah they're green with like ruffles on the edge and it came with um the uh f like f like sheet to put on the mattress as well <laughs> whatever that's called my brain is not working right now um and they just happen to be like perfectly matching so that would actually look so cute if i took photos Ooh, maybe i could do that if i took photos of me posing all cute on the bed in the matching colored dress and bedding that would actually be so cute when Jackson and I were living together, I got us ones that were very easy to put on and were like stretchy. Um, so, and I'll link them down below. If you struggle to put, like if you don't have very strong like hands or something like that, um, I would suggest trying the sheets that I got because they're like stretchy and elasticated. So it doesn't mean that they're like, you know, super breathable and like 100% cotton. Like they definitely like got some elastin in them. But something I really loved is that like I'm not very strong and I've got weak little hands and I could easily wrap them around the mattress and like put the doona in and things like that and um i'll link them down below but they were super super stretchy um big fan uh if we're going into summer even though it is a gray it's been gray and overcast and rainy for the last week but whatever um i but so i bought some little like tops so there will be some little tops and pants in this little haul coming up now. Little, I got some little singlets. So this one is cute. I thought this would be so cute for photos, like summer photos. Um, very stretchy. Um, it's just like a rib tank with like a, like a sky cloudy kind of print. Um, um, definitely like a sweaty material. Oh, so this was seven dollars thirty six. So you are getting what you pay for. Um, I got a size medium. Um, it is nice and stretchy. I'm a fan. It's cute. I think I would wear this. Um, if I had like a little, like a little white or blue skirt, that would be a very cute little. And like some white sneakers, that would be a very cute little summer outfit. So that is mental noted the next three items are my token purple items for this haul today <laughs> um i have these track pants um super cute they have this little embroidered um butterfly on them and they have some um pockets and i really like this thick elastic band um that is very nice and flattering and cute i just love this color i look so cute in this color i don't know what it is about this color it's just so cute these will set you back 19 dollars 77 us and i got a size medium super stretchy material it has cuffs on the bottom super cute i feel like the length from memory was quite good um and the 
Um, next purple pants I think were a little longer and I liked the cut of them even more. Um, so I got this cute matching purple set here because initially I think I just wanted the hoodie because duh, it's just a nice plain purple hoodie um, and the cut's really nice so it sits like off the shoulder or like you know loose and like hanging off or like you just have it open with like a little little top and jeans underneath you know you just like you know being a cute little like purple soccer mom they're definitely more purple in person um in the photos they almost look like a faded purple but they're quite purple oh so it says they're one size, but on here it says medium. They have a very nice, very thick um, elast elastic band. Um, I also like that they have the string in here, so you can make them even, like, like cinch them in if you want to. Um, and the pockets are bigger and deeper. Um, so you may enjoy the quality of these more. And without the butterfly, like, you're not limited to, like, what style or other colors you're wearing they have they are very nice and high waisted like the crotch is quite long on these so you will get them at a nice high waist none of them have back pockets or anything like that um but yeah this is like such a cute little set okay so um fitting with this like sky vibe i was looking at i found these jeans that look way better in the photos they they are not that cute in person it looks like people may have decided that um, when I last looked it said that the item was gone and there was one review on there and it was someone being like um excuse me this is like not at all what I wanted to buy um yeah the location of the uh, bleaching is very different yeah, I got a size large and these are quite big and the, yeah, and the fit is like not very nice. They're weird um, So what I'd love to do is um, I'll cut these up. I'm gonna bleach them some more um, I might get some like white paint and then like paint on them um, Maybe make them cute and then give them to someone. I don't know. We'll see what happens um, But that uh, yeah, these jeans absolute flop 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 and then I tried these other jeans and uh, they fit a little better, but um, no. Um, and I got a size large in these as well. Um, and they have this um, a black butterfly print. Um, they've made them look very cute in the photos, um, but um, yeah, for 25, 60, I, it was worth a try, but no, the crotch is quite long on there. Um, but I hate when um, when jeans have this tiny zip and then this long crotch because it actually is quite unflattering. Like, um, if you want like a flattering pair of jeans, try and find one where the zip is really long. It's like makes sense, and there isn't this like weird patch <laughs> of like I don't know jean flesh. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, am I okay? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, these are a flop as well. Um, but I have a feeling one of my friends will look actually really good in these. So I'm going to just gift them to them and see if they like them or not. See what happens. So then next, um, this top. Pretty cute, actually. So I've been looking for like... <sighs> I'm just trying... I think I say this in every haul, but I'm trying to just not wear oversized t-shirts and leggings. Like that's purely what I'm just trying to do. Like I'm trying to just dress like a grown woman um, and not an overgrown emo, even though I'll be an overgrown emo forever. But this top, super cute. I think it's meant to be worn as a top, but I think it would be really cute as a cardigan with like a little white singlet underneath and some black jeans and boots. And that would be like super flippin' cute. Um, it's this cool like stone acid wash style ribbed long sleeve 
um, nice and stretchy. Um, the sleeves are quite long, but it's just like this little like cottony elastic top. It is 25.45. I got a size medium. I definitely could have done like a small, but um, but I think the medium would be nice because it would fit like a loose cardigan, if that makes sense. So love this. Um, the print is very different to the picture, um, but I think that's to do with the coloring process of the product. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. I'm a big fan. Um, and then I got this because I thought this could be like a sexy top. So this was $11.50. Um, I got it in the white. It is very white in person. Um, the photos I think have been edited and it looks a bit more like a creamy color, but this is very white. Maybe the picture's just a different color and I just got, a, maybe it's a brown and this is white. I'm not sure where I pooped up, um, but actually looks quite good on. A little bit suffocating, like a little bit tight. Um, what did I order? Yeah, I got a medium. Wow. Um, feels like I'm wearing a wetsuit, but looks very cute. <laughs> and the sleeves are a good length too, which was a nice surprise. This with some like oversized wide leg pants would be so cute actually. And then I got this other cute little dainty top here. Um, this color, so cute. Um, this was quite cheap actually. This was nine US dollars and it's actually so cute. I got a size medium, should have got a size small. If I wanted it to look more dainty, this definitely fits more like, I guess like loose. The color is very, very cute. It kind of looks, it's definitely like a darker blue in person versus in the photos. Little knot is a perfect little height for wearing your little like bralettes underneath, super cute. And yeah, I'm a big fan of this. It feels quite light and airy. It's definitely still your polyester spandex. Yeah, but ah, but it is um super cute if you just want like little date tops. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you like the find, like the yes style find of the year for me. Um, these tops. I got three of these and I am so pumped about these um so these are like just some nice smart cami tops they have a they're nice and thick um they have some good stretch to them but they're not too stretchy I was scared that they would be like super super tiny so I got a size large and they are a great fit. There were a few reviews on there and everyone was really happy with them. Um, so I was like, oh, well, I'll give these a try for sure. And I got the black, the uh, beige, and then the blue. And they are so nice. If you just like these under like a blazer and nice pants or with a skirt or like jeans or any, like if you just want like a smart cami top, this is it. Like the, like when you see those like off duty model styled kind of outfits, you're like, where are they getting these like smart, fancy looking cami tops? And I reckon this is like the style to try. So, um, obsessed, love these, very excited. We'll wear so much of this, absolutely. And they were $11.70. And they came in like a khaki, a grey, a mustard, a maroon. Um, so I reckon I will do um, another order one day and I'll get the grey. And um, maybe they'll have like a white one eventually, but that would be like amazing. And then one last um, fail. <laughs> um, oh, I was so excited about this one. Looks like this awesome structured thick uh, denim -y dress and it was like a dark blue colour, almost grey maybe and when I got it, it was bright, bright blue 
and um, this plasticky thin material. I am so sad. Um, it fits pretty good, but I just wouldn't wear it. I feel like this is like a, a cheap like uniform. Um, I'm so sad. This would have been so cute if it looked like the photos. Um, $25. Um, I'm sad. Um, and then two last things. Um, I love picking up little homeware-y things. Um, so I got a couple of these glasses. Um, these ones have, I've got water in it. Uh, 10 out of 10 drinking glass works perfectly. Um, it has, uh, this like gold, like rim on the top, super cute. And, um, and the pattern on the glass is very pretty. Um, I've got two of these. And then I got, um, I bought glasses from YesStyle before and I love them. They're quite strong. Um, glasses that I bought from like Ikea or like Kmart um, would seem to break or shatter when I would wash them or even in the dishwasher when like these have been like nice and sturdy. Especially when you have a very clumsy ex-boyfriend. Um, and then I bought this ice tray that I haven't used yet. But I kind of want to use it to make like, look how cute, it's little hearts and it has a lid, it's so cute. I kind of want to make little doggy popsicles with these, they would be so cute. Um, little love heart popsicles. Wish me luck trying to do that, um, that would be so cute. I kind of want to do like, because it's Spud's first Christmas. So I'd love, 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 love to um, do some cute like Christmas videos with him and I want to make him like an advent calendar and, and I'll make Vigo one obviously. Um, and yeah, just do some cute, like a cute doggy Christmas video because it will be Spot's first Christmas in a home. So it's very exciting. But yeah, but um, that is my Yes Style haul. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know it's been a while, um, but I do have um, I do have a couple, like, I've got, uh, like, a shoe haul coming up. Um, I'm feeling a little inspired again, and I have, um, some ideas, um, for fun videos I want to do, but the main video I have in my head is a cute Christmas video for Spud, because it's his first, and it's, like, it's our first Christmas in 10 years without fiasco, so it will be interesting, that's for sure. Um, uh, Again, check out the links in the description if there's anything that you're interested in. Um, there's the vegan filter and the code down there as well. Um, but again, thank you so much yourself for sponsoring this video. Thank you, my little berries, for watching it. You guys are just so patient and sweet with me. Thanks for looking after me. And I hope you have the best day ever. And bye! <laughs>